Hello, hello, it is Ryder, and today I am here to share another prophetic word with you. Um, and the title of this message is Your Playing with Fire. Your Playing with Fire. And, you know, with all these messages, always use discernment and ask the Lord if this message is meant for you and if it is meant for you at this time in your life. And if he says no, then don't watch, don't listen, click off of it. I won't be hurt, I won't be offended in any way, shape, or form. But if this message is for you, whether or not you've been saved, whether or not you've accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and repented of your sins, if this message is for you, you are someone who likes to gossip. You like to go online, you like to learn about all well, the celebrity drama, or you like to, like, know, like, oh, what's the tea, what's going on, what's the drama, what's the gossip, like, you thrive on that, you like listening to that stuff, um, or you're going out and you're spreading rumors and slandering other people, and the Lord also brought to my attention that this also has to do with, like, cancel culture, like, maybe you're the type of person that actually, like, pops on the bandwagon and tries to shut people down when they say like one wrong thing or make one wrong move. So if this message is for you, you are someone that likes to gossip and you may or may not be participating in cancel culture. And um, this doesn't concern a dream or a vision that the Lord showed to me, but he brought this just very like heavily on my spirit this morning when I was reading my Bible. I was in the book of Proverbs and... Um, there were two parts of it that came to my attention, that the Lord brought to my attention. So the first one is from Proverbs 26, verses 20 and 21. And it says, For lack of wood the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, quarreling ceases. As charcoal to hot embers, and wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife. So this is Solomon who wrote all the Proverbs, and he's saying that, you know, like, if there's no wood on the fire, it goes out. And where there's no whisperer, no one, like, spreading rumors or gossiping or going like, da-da-da, da-da-da, can you believe he said that and she wore that and blah, 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 then there's no more quarreling and there's no more strife. And it also says, as charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife. So when someone is quarrelsome, when they like to stir up drama, like, they're the fuel to the fire. They just bring up drama. They add more. They put more fuel on the fire. And that's why the Lord told me that the title of this message is you're playing with fire. If you're gossiping, if you're spreading rumors, whether or not you consider yourself a Christian, the Lord doesn't want you to be doing this. But especially if you've been born again, you've been saved, you've repented of your sins and accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Savior, that is not the way that God intends for us to live our lives. He doesn't want us to be gossiping. He doesn't want us to be spreading rumors. He doesn't want us to even be listening to this ungodly chatter. Like, he doesn't want that for us. You know, um, I believe even in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, it says, you know, like, uh, like someone serving as a soldier doesn't get entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. So we shouldn't be worried about all this nonsense that's going on around us and all this gossip that's happening online and all this stuff about celebrities. We need to focus on our mission and focus on serving the Lord and living a life that is pleasing in his eyes. Now, so don't continue to add to this drama. Don't continue to add fuel to the fire. And it's the same with that cancel culture as well. Like, you know, a lot of the times people just want to harp on one person because they say one wrong thing or do one wrong thing. And yes, we do need to correct and rebuke people. But I think that it's gotten a bit out of hand. Like when it's like everybody is attacking this person and not just attacking them for what they said or what they did for the behavior to change, but they're attacking their character or their threatening them or, you know, like making like death threats like that is not okay. And that is not how we should be behaving as Christians. We are called to be better than that. And we are called to show Jesus's love to the people around us. Now, the next scripture reading is also from Proverbs and it's chapter six, verses 16 to 19. And I remember when I was reading Proverbs this morning and I saw the passage in chapter 26, it made me think of this passage immediately, like the Lord brought to my attention. So it's Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. And it says, 
There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. For this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this is something that's really important. You know, the six things that the Lord hates, seven things that are an abomination to him. First is like haughty eyes, someone that's very proud, a lying tongue, people that lie. A lot of the gossip that's out there is lies, and we should not be lying as Christians. It's wrong. You know, God doesn't want us to do that. Hands that shed innocent blood, that could be murder, um, or it could be also like slandering someone's character is what God's saying to my attention. It could also be slandering someone's character needlessly. A heart that devises wicked plans that could be like, you know, trying to cancel people, making those death threats on their lives, like stalking them, doxing them, like trying to get their info online and being like, I know where you live. Like all of that is wrong. You know, feet that make haste to run into evil, like being quick to run into sin. A false witness who breathes out lies. A lot of the times when we're gossiping or we're just listening to the stuff that other people are saying without actually talking to the person directly, you know, we're getting not the whole truth. You know, and to get the whole truth, we need to hear both sides, and we also need to talk to God and ask for his discernment and his wisdom and his guidance, and it would be better to go to God first, actually. So don't listen to what all these other people are, like, chattering about. Don't listen to the godless chatter, because a lot of it is lies, and we don't need to be getting involved in that when we've been called to a greater mission and a greater purpose as soldiers for Christ. And the last of the things that the Lord hates and that's an abomination to him is one who so the one who and one who sows discord among brothers. And what's jumping out at me is this is like with some of this gossip, some of this slander, some of this cancel culture that's going on, it's happening among your brothers and your sisters. It is happening among Christians and it is happening in the church. If you're going to church and you are gossiping about people in the church, you are spreading rumors about people in the church, you are trying to cancel people, um, you know, like needlessly just because they said one wrong thing without talking to them first, you're just trying to attack their character that is wrong that is a sin that is an abomination and that is detestable in the eyes of the lord and if this message is for you god wants you to stop this stop the lies stop the slander stop the gossip right now because it is detestable in his eyes. And we should not be having discord in the body of Christ. There should not be these arguments and this slander and this godless chatter among the soldiers of Christ. We have more important things to worry about, like serving the Lord. And we are called to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. If we are acting like the people of that of the world, how are we being the light of the earth, the light of the world and the salt of the earth? You know, we're not, because we're acting like the people of the world who are still living in darkness. We need to be better than that. We need to do better than that as Christians, and God wants us to stop this gossip and this slander and this cancel culture right now, and instead focus on serving him. With all that being said, God is telling me to wrap up this message now. So with all that being said, you know, heed this warning. Take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye.